Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawasha, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawasha. Ba Hashem, Rakakwadash, the honors to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and sincerity. Lesson will be entitled, May You Live Forever. Lord, will you are at a video will be used for very use purpose only. May you live forever. And this is something the Edomites would love to have, beginning with their nobility, talking about the highborns, the so-called um, aristocrats that run this system, that control this system, that engineered the system. Video was inspired by an article I came across on Newsbreak entitled, Renowned Scientist Says Humans Will Soon Live to Be 1,000 Years Old. Immortality. It's an age-old idea that has plagued humankind for centuries. Many men over the years have sought to find some way to live forever. But futurist Raymond Kurzweil believes he may have found the best way forward. According to Kurzweil's new book, Nano Robots, may be the key to stopping human aging and letting us live for thousands of years. Keep that in mind. Of course, there are many concerns about the possibility of living for thousands of years, let alone forever. And yet, new anti-aging therapy continues to be a common focus of research for acclaimed scientists. While many seek to slow down the deterioration of our bodies and simply prolong our lives. Others like Kurzweil appear to have loftier goals. And that's pretty much the point. And according to Raymond Kurzweil, Nanorobots may be the key to stopping human aging and letting us live for thousands of years. No. Eternal life is for the Israelites, beginning with the elect. And in modern terms, so-called Negroes, so-called Hispanics, and so-called Native Americans... Romans 6 and 22, but now being made free from sin and become servants to the Most High, you have your fruits unto holiness and the end everlasting life. So if we read this utilizing context, okay, only the servants of the Most High can receive what? eternal life or everlasting life. Keep that in mind. Verse 23, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of the Most High is eternal life through Yahweh Mashiach, our Lord. Question, who did Yahweh come for? Matthew chapter 1 and verse 21, and she shall bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Yahweh, for he shall save his people from their sins.
Matthew 10 and 6, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And these words are the words of Yahweh Shah. Let's go to Psalm 147. Okay, I want to be extremely technical. There we go. Isaiah 41 and verse 8. But you, Israel, are my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. The seed. And let's run it back from Abraham, starting in Salakia, starting with Abraham, through Isaac, through Jacob. Trickling down to what? The 12 sons of Jacob. So, when we go into Romans... Sixth chapter and verse 22. But now, being made free from sin and become servants to the Most High, you have your fruit unto holiness and the end everlasting life. Israelites are only the servants of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah. Let me get one more. Amos 3 and 1. Hear this word that Yahweh has spoken against you, O sons of Israel, against the whole family Israelites, which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. And these punishments are consequences because we committed spiritual fornication, okay, against Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah. And the end result is what? Death, okay? So according to Mr. Kurzweil, Nanorobots may be the key to stopping human aging and letting us live for thousands of years. Only the Israelites will live a thousand years, okay, which is symbolic for eternal life per scripture, okay? So in the kingdom of heaven, we will never die. A thousand years is only symbolic, right? And if you're speaking of 1,000 years in the book of Revelation, that's actually going into the establishment of the kingdom. However, the Israelites will live forever, hence everlasting life, and Esau knows this, okay? And that's the reason why their nobility, okay, pay men like Raymond, Okay, to search out anything that can assist them with eternal life, but they would never get it. Okay, so again, nanorobots may be the key to stopping human aging and letting us live for a thousand years. No, sir, because according to Hebrews, right, this is the key. Hebrews 8 and 8. For finding fault with them, Israelites, he said, Behold, the days come, said the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Verse 9, Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continue not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, said the Lord. 
For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, said the Lord. I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts. Meaning what? He is going to program righteousness within our spirit. And therefore, if we are programmed, we will never sin. And furthermore, we will never die. And I will be to them a power, and they shall be to me a people. This is the key to everlasting life. By not sinning. Okay? And see, because we have what? Okay, so let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 3. Because at this time frame, we have what? Stony hearts, right? And a stone heart is what? It's basically against the ways of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Let's go to verse 1, 2 Corinthians 3 and 1. Do we begin again to commend ourselves, or need we as some others epistles of commendation to you or letters of commendation from you? You are our epistle written in our hearts, known and read of all men, for as much as you are manifestly declared to be the epistle of Mashiach ministered by us, written not with ink, but with the spirit of the living power, not in tables of stone, but in fleshly tables of the spirit. Meaning what? This truth, okay, is going to lead into everlasting life. And based on the new covenant or the new agreement spoken of in Hebrews 8 and 7 um, all the way to um, what Hebrews 8 and 7 and Hebrews um, 8 and 8. Okay, so in the kingdom, no more stony hearts, but fleshly hearts, meaning that our spirits will be programmed automatically with the laws, statutes, and the commandments, and therefore we will never sin. However, when it comes to the Edomites, according to Deuteronomy 30 and 7, and the Lord Yahweh, your power will, will put all these curses on your enemies, beginning with Esau trickling down to the rest of those nations. Okay? And on them that hate you, which persecuted you, and by default, according to Romans, the sixth chapter. So in, in the kingdom of heaven, we're going to have what? The blessings. And again, with Esau and the other nations, they're going to have the curses. And Romans 6 and 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of the Most High is eternal life through Yahweh Shah Mashiach, our Lord. And guess what? 
they're going to be still fashion. Okay? They're going to be fashion to die. Period. So, of course, they will be sinning in the kingdom of Yahweh Bashem Shah. And we will put them to death based on those sins. Okay? Now, according to Raymond, nanorobots may be the key to stopping human aging and letting us live for a thousand years. The key to stopping human aging, okay, and living forever. That's what? Based on the new covenant, right? And this further supports that how Esau houses forever. It's a lot. I think it's in Psalm 49. Let me just try that. In verse 11. Psalm 49 verse 11. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. Right? So they believe in what? Trans Humanism, which means what? To change humans, okay? By household. Their technology. Houses, according to the Hebrew, is Strong's H1004, and it's pronounced as Bayath. And not only does it mean a dwelling or habitation, or an abode, but it also means human bodies. Nano robots may be the key to stopping human aging and letting us live for thousands of years. And that's the point of transhumanism. Because at the end of the day, they want their blessing back. Okay? So, eternal life is for the Israelites only. Okay, and based on the new covenant, we will never sin. And if we never sin, therefore, we will never die. Lord will, you were edified, Shalom.